Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the Project Manager, Sunshine Educational Resources, also known as Sunshine Academy. Welcome to our free online lessons in mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, geography, economics, and many other subjects. In the last mathematics lessons, we started geometry and we went into learning properties of angles and lines. We studied that angles at a point add up to 360 degree. We also learned that adjacent angles on a straight line are supplementary angles, and that is they add up to 180 degree. We also learned that vertically opposite angles are equal. We also studied angles and intercept on parallel lines. We talked about alternate angles are equal. We, talk, we talked about corresponding angles are equal. And we talked about interior opposite angles, which are supplementary and that they add up to 180 degree. Today we're going to use all those concepts to solve problems involving geometry. So let's start with this example on the board. And this is example one, which says that find the value of A, B and C in the diagram below. Find the value of A, B and C in the diagram below. For you to be able to solve this problem, you will have to deploy all those concepts or theorems we've learned about properties of angles and line to be able to solve problems from here. In this diagram, we are to find A, B and C. This is C. This angle here is called C. So we are to find A, B and A, B and C in this diagram. Now, you will have to follow certain logic to be able to get the angles A, B and C. And that is, you will have to deploy the knowledge you've had about properties of angles and line to be able to solve this problem. So let's start with this angle here, these angles here. This is obviously angle, adjacent angles on a straight line. What we have here is adjacent angles on a straight line which are supplementary in other words they add up to 180 degree so based on that idea or concept we will not say that angle a plus 48 degree is equal to 180 degree angle a plus 48 degree is equal to 180 degree because these is adjacent or these are adjacent angles on a straight line they add up to 180 degree now from this equation a therefore is equal to 180 minus 48 which is equal to 132 degree a therefore is equal to 132 degree now for us to be able to get angle c we'll have to perform an operation here we're going to div we're going to draw another parallel line that run through c we're going to draw another parallel line that run through angle c let's draw another parallel line that run through angle c so we're going to draw a parallel line like this that will run through angle c all right this is another parallel line that run through angle C obviously dividing angle C into two parts so angle C has been divided into two parts now let's call this part this angle here this is part of angle C let's call it C1 and let's call this angle here this is the part of angle C let's call it C2 so obviously C1 plus C2 will give you C okay now you will agree with me that angle A is equal to angle C1 because they are alternate angles. Let me repeat again. Angle A is equal to angle C1 because they are alternate angles. Alternate angles. So angle A is equal to angle C1 because they are alternate angles. And angle, angle A 
is 132 because we found it out. Angle A is 122. So angle A is equal to angle C1 and is equal to 132. All right, just like we said earlier, angle A is equal to angle C1 and is equal to 132 degree. Is equal to 132 degree. Okay? So right now, we know that C1 is equal to 30. Right now, we know that C1, angle C1, is equal to 132 degree. So all we need now to get angle C is that we need to get C2. All right, let's come down here. We know that adjacent angles on a straight line may make up to 180 degree. So angle B is equal to 180 minus 72. Angle B is equal to 180 minus 72. Angle B therefore is equal to 180 minus 72 and that is equal to 108 degree. That's equal to 108 degree. So angle B is equal to B therefore is equal to 108 degree. Okay, now if B is equal to 108 degree, if B is equal to 108 degree, therefore C, C2 is also equal to 108 degree because they are alternate angles. Therefore, if B is equal to 108 degree, therefore C2 is equal to 108 degree because they are alternate angles. Alternate angles. So C2 is equal to 108. And C and angle C is equal to C1 plus C2. Now, C1 is equal to 132 degree and C2 is equal to 108 degree. So, 132 degree plus 108 degree will give us C, which is equal to, which is equal to 240 degree. So, angle C is equal to 240 degree and we have already gotten the angle B. Our angle B is 180 minus 72, which is 108. So angle A is 132 degree, angle B is 108 degree, and angle C is 240 degree. That is our final answer. All right, example number two. Example number two says that find the value of X in the diagram. Find the value of X in the diagram. Obviously, from what I can see here, this is obviously from what I can see here, this is angles at a point. Angles at a point add up to 360 degree. Angles at a point add up to 360 degree. It means that this angle 2x plus 3x plus 4x and this is a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. So obviously from what I have here, it means that 2x plus 3x plus 4x plus 90 because 90 is a right angle triangle here this is a right angle triangle plus 90 all this will add up to 360 degree because this is angle at a point so it means 2x plus 3x plus 4x plus 90 degree is equal to 360 degree so 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x 5x plus 4x is equal to 9x that is 9x plus 90 degree is equal to 360 degree. So let's bring the like terms together. 9x is equal to 360 minus 90 degree. 360 degree minus 90 degree. So 9x therefore is equal to 360 degree minus 90 degree will give you 270 degree. Okay. So divide both sides by 9, divide this side by 9, and divide this side by 9. 9 will cancel 9. So x is equal to 270 degree divided by 9. 270 degree divided by 9 will give you 30 degree. 30 degree. x therefore is equal to 30 degree. That's the final answer. x is equal to 30 degree. So let's move to example number 3. 
All right, example three now. Example three says that we should find the value of A and B in the diagram. Find the value of A and B in the diagram. Now, let's try to understand the diagram before we proceed. First and foremost, let's try to understand this diagram properly before we proceed. Now, let me label these lines. We have some lines here. Let me label this one A, B, line A, B. And let me, let me call this one line C, D. There's another line also E, F. Let me label these lines like this. So you have line A, B parallel to line C, D. You also have line E, F parallel to line, okay, B, let me call this place G. Let me call this place G. Okay. Let me call this place G. So we have line AB. We have line CD. Line AB is parallel to line CD. Line EF is parallel to line GB. Okay. Now we have angle D to be 30 degree. And here we have angle B. We have another angle B. We have angle B. Now, this angle here is called angle A. This angle here is called angle A. This is angle A here. So we have angle A here and we have angle B here. This is the angles we are looking for, angle A and angle B. Now, for us to make these findings easier, we will have to draw another parallel line to A, B and C, D, cutting through this 75 degree we'll have to draw another parallel line cutting through 75 degree parallel to a b and c d so we're going to draw this another line this way like this okay we're going to draw it like this now this line has divided angle 75 degree into two parts and this line let's call it hi let's call it line hi let's call it line hi line hi this has divided angle 75 degree into two parts so we're going to cancel or delete this angle 75 of course we know that this angle is 75 degree but let me remove this and we're going to label this angle now of course we know that this angle is 75 degree now i have deleted it let me call this angle y let me call this angle x angle x please note that angle x plus angle y angle x plus angle y is equal to 75 degree we should note that at the back of our mind so we have drawn line h uh, hi parallel to line a b and c d now let's proceed with our findings now this line angles line cd is parallel to line hi i want you to look at this diagram very carefully line cd is parallel to line hi and this angle d here is 30 degree it means that from this angle x therefore angle x is equal to 30 degree because x is an alternate angle to this 30 degree they are alternate angles because they are alternate angles because they are alternate angles so they are alternate angles so angle x is equal to 30 degree okay now if angle x is 30 degree it means that angle y is equal to 75 minus 30 which is equal to 45 degree so it means that angle y is 45 degree okay now angle y also is alternate to angle a angle y also is alternate to angle a i hope you're getting what i'm trying to do angle y is alternate to angle a so it means that angle a is also equal to 45 degree okay now let's proceed you will agree with me that line gf this line gf this is called line this is line gf 
sorry, this line GB, this line GB, G, there's G here, label this place G before I run a line through it. This is line GB. Just follow this cursor here. This line here is called GB and it's parallel to line EF. Can you get that? It's parallel to line EF. So angle A, let's proceed this way, is a corresponding angle to this angle here. This angle, let's, I don't know what to call it. Let's call it angle, angle Z. Let me call it angle Z. Angle Z. Angle A is a corresponding angle to angle Z. Okay? And that means that angle Z, angle Z, is equal to 45 degree now and this angle Z and angle B are adjacent angles on a straight line they are adjacent angles on a straight line therefore they add up to 180 degree I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here so this is angle Z and angle B they are adjacent angles on a straight line so it therefore means that angle b is equal to angle b therefore is equal to 180 minus 45 angle b is equal to 180 minus 45 which is equal to which is equal to 135 degree finally we got our angle we've got angle a to be equal to 45 degree and we got angle B to be equal to 135 degree. I hope you understood what I've just done here. Um, it's a little bit complex and it's a network of problems that you have to really put your head together to be able to get the answer. So let me go over what I've just done here very carefully this time around. Um, what I did was to draw a line that run through angle 75 degree this angle x plus angle y is 75 degree okay so i drew a parallel line through angle 75 degree parallel to line a b and line c d okay and this angle here angle d is 30 degree it means that angle x also is 30 degree okay and if angle x is 30 degree to get angle y you just subtract uh, you just subtract 30 from 75 you get angle y and angle y and angle, angle y and angle a are alternate angles it means that a is also 45 degree angle a and angle z are corresponding angles and therefore angle z is 45 degree and then to get angle b because angle b and angle z are adjacent angles on a straight line they add up to 180 degree so all you have to all you have to do is to subtract is to subtract 45 from 180 and you get your angle b so that is it we've come to the end of today's lesson thank you very much for watching if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much for watching and god bless you